Learn how to pack some uh, bearings here on a little uh, trailer. This is just a typical snowmobile trailer, uh, utility trailer, nothing major. And uh, you can see I've got the jack set. Uh, notice it's right there under the axle. We're going to do this in real time so you can see how fast this is to pack bearings. All I have, simple tools, a um, couple of hammers. I have a rubber hammer, regular hammer, a couple screwdrivers, little pliers. I'm using some cardboard to keep everything kind of clean. Got my uh, grease over here, and then you'll see what I'm going to do with this brick. So, real quick, now I'm going to do this with air tools, but you know, you might have to do it yourself. And then uh, you're going to see where these come in, but I have a little assortment of cotter pins. You might want to buy one of these off eBay. They're really handy to have. So, okay, with that, here, you take this. Watch how easy it is to do this and how fast it is. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, jack up the trailer, which we don't have the arm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, we should use a jack stand to be safe. You have one. All right. We'll just get that under there. Okay. So here we go. Remember, counterclockwise on bolts for loosening. Okay, we're going to set this aside. Pretty simple. we got to get this hub off. Usually, you will hit with a hammer, kind of loosen it, and there it is. Boom. Ready to go. Set it down. Now, there's a nut here, and a washer, and a cotter pin. The only variance is sometimes the nut is bigger, and there's no washer behind it. So basically, here's our cotter pin. Don't forget to put this back in, because this is what keeps your tire on. Okay, we just kind of wiggle that straight best we can. I have a new cotter pin from my kit that I'm going to put in, but you, you can use the old one. That's fine. But let's say you're getting ready to take a trip. You haven't greased your bearings in a while. How do I do it? Or you just bought a trailer. You just got to pull this cotter pin down with the screwdriver or the pliers, depending. You just kind of wiggle it, tap it a little, pull it a little. It will come down eventually. There we go. Set that down. Now, usually this is so loose, just the regular pliers will work. There we go. But I take, uh, I have this one. Let's get a little more. But again, this is only going to take a matter of minutes. So there's our nut. Okay. Now watch this. Keep keep your hands to hold it. You don't want it to drop in the sand. Just pulls right off. And here we go. There's our bearing with our washer. And notice the bearing has a kind of a cone shape to it. When you put it back in, it's going to fit in the cone there. But look at that's pretty dry. There's not really much grease in this. Now we have this back one. Notice there's a little seal here. We have to get that off. So that's what this brick's for over here. You can use whatever you want. This is just what I happen to have. You can't bang that out flat because it won't go anywhere. You have to get it up in the air just a little bit. That's what my big screwdriver is for. So if you look in here, you get it on the back of the bearing, okay? And here we go. Get ready. Oh. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times. Watch the camera there. I don't want to hit the camera. And voila. We have the seal out, you see that? And the bearings out. 
bearing just in the back. It's the cone shape again. Remember, it's going to go in there. Once we get the grease in, we're just going to bang this back on real easy. Okay, now that's what my rags are for here. A couple rags. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to grab this bearing. And this is quick. We're going to do this quick. This is a quick grease. You could take carburetor cleaner and you could spray the bearing and spray the other bearing and spray all the, you could spray everything off. It's up to you, but I'm doing this quick because I'm in a hurry. So are you. <laughs> okay. Now, I have an advantage here with the air. Again, you don't have to. Just give it a little spray just to make sure there's no sand in it or anything. It's really not. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Since we're doing this quick, you could clean out all this, but you know what? There's not that much grease in there. This is pretty dry, actually. Look at that. It's like no grease in there. It's a good thing we did this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to grab some grease. All right. It's kind of a messy job. And we're going to put some in here. Okay, we're going to grab some more grease. And we're just going to kind of fill it in the hub here. Okay. So we've got a bunch of grease in there, okay. We're going to put a little over here. Oh. <laughs> we have some hay. <laughs> we're going to put some on the spindle there. All right. There we go. All right. Now... We're just going to put some in our uh, hand, and you notice the bearing has a little kind of gap there, a little gap in front. Well, we're just going to kind of work the grease in to that little gap, best you can, okay? You can put it in your palm if you want, but just kind of move it around. See that? Same on the other side. Get a little grease here. You can wear gloves and not make this as messy. I don't really care for doing this video. So we've got some grease worked in there. Now the inside you can hold with your hand. The outside you can spin it. Kind of keep working that grease into it. Okay. Now we're going to take more grease. And we're going to put it all around it. Alright. And now we're going to stick it back in. Make sure you do the back. You could do it backwards. Okay. I'm going to put a little more grease in the back here. Okay. Just lots of grease. It's not going to hurt anything. Too much is good. Compared to how dry it was. There we go. Now we got it all in there with the grease. Okay. Now we have our seal right here. All we have to do is set that back. I'm just going to wipe wash my hands off for just a sec. Actually, I think I'll do the second bearing, the one that's going to go in the front. Just do that real quick. We're almost done, actually. That's why, this is what people are charging you $100 for. It's like, for a little snowmobile trailer like this, come on. Work the grease in. Work it in. Front and back. Roll it a little bit. Let the grease, you know, get in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to set this down. Okay, that's pretty much done. Well, I'll wipe off here. Believe it or not, grease isn't messy because it's oily. It's not like, like dirt. It washes off pretty easy, too. So, just uh, some rags, old rags. Okay. Now, that seal that's on the back, pretty simple. All you have to do, once the bearing's in, okay, the bearing's in, we're just tapping around it. Just keep tapping it down. Now, it's you see it's a little bit lower than the line there. So, we've got a nice pack bearing there. We're going to, and we got all this here. Don't worry about the extra grease. It's okay. slide it on. Now we've got this. Now I'm going to do one other thing. I'm just going to put a little bit 
in the front here that the bearing is going to catch as it goes in. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to put a little last bit around here on the outside. Okay. So we've kind of packed it. we got the big goop there. Look at all that nice, beautiful grease going in. Okay. Let's kind of wipe off the excess there. It's no big deal. I guess I'm going to have to wipe off again. Now here's our washer. Going right back on. Okay. The nut's going on. Now this is important to remember too with this nut. This isn't like a ratchet where you're oh, tightening this as tight as you can. Because what you have is the cotter pin is going to go through there. So what we want to do with this is we're tightening it. And don't worry, it's going to kind of ooze grease out. That's what the dust cover is for. So we're just tightening this. Just kind of hand tight, okay? Now it's a little snug, okay? That's rolling good. Now we're just going to go maybe a turn past the hand snug at most, okay? The hole for it, you're either going to put the nut a little forward or a little back, depending. I normally kind of go forward a little, find the hole. Okay, there it is. You just kind of check this. Snug is okay because you got to remember it's rolling on a tire. you got the weight of the trailer, so snug is okay. But you notice... We just went hand tight, just a tiny bit past that cotter pin. Now, if, I guess I take this for granted. Cotter pin has one short side, one long side, okay? That's so when you get it through, it's easy to grab, okay? So we'll put it through. Pliers, something like that. All we got to do is bend it and bend it, okay? Now, we're going to kind of bend it in front of the nut here because, remember, the dust cover has to go on, the grease cover. Okay, so we'll just kind of bend it up, and we'll get it out of the way. This one, I'm going to get a little bit out of the way. So it's kind of in front of the nut there. That's the excess grease there. Okay, now watch this. We've put everything back together. Dust covers back. That's what I have this for, but you can use a regular hammer. Just spin it around. Bang your dust cover back on. If you want to wipe up the excess grease in the front, that's fine. Now you can feel we got a hub that's all full of grease. Tire. Here. Now, one thing, you can use WD-40, or you can just use a little, like your finger. Put a little grease on the lugs here. Oh. I guess that's not the lug. I guess that's the valve stem. But uh, put a little grease on those at a minimum, so when you put the lugs back on, the next time you take them off, the, they won't be so rusty. Okay, hold on, I'm grabbing my air. By the way, get a shot of that compressor. If you do get air, get like a 30 gallon. <coughs> Works good. <coughs> okay. Jack stands down. If you want it, you can just see. Got a nice greased hub now. Ready to go miles and miles of towing. That should have been 10 minutes or less. And uh, I've already done the other side, so this trailer is now good to go. So, here, put it on me for a sec. So, hopefully this will help you because a lot of people don't know how to pack bearings and it's not hard 
it's quick and it's simple. If you do this, you're not going to be one of the guys that loses a spindle down the road. So that's it. Enjoy your YouTube.